Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and today we'll talk about the journal fields in ServiceNow. So what is journal field? How many types of journal fields we have and what are the things we can do through the journal fields? Let's understand in this concept in our class. So if I go back to my table called u underscore test and I'm going to create a journal field. So before I'm going to create the journal field, let me tell you that what is the journal field. Journal field is a field that can be used um, multiple details one by one. So let's understand that. So let's say that it is used for the comments purpose so we can track one by one. So it can take multiple values basically. So first thing first, what I'll do, I'll create a journal field. So for that, what I'll do, I'll right click there, comments and then here, under this form layout, I'm going to create a journal field. So let's say that um, here I'm typing that user comments. And then under these sections, I'll type that journal. Once you select the journal, you have a three option called journal, journal input and journal list. So we'll understand that what is the difference between journal, journal input and journal list. So journal, journal, let's create first journal and then uh, add that field and save that. So to understand that journal field is nothing but the combination of the journal input and journal list. I'll show you that. So this is might be my uh, field that I have created called user comments. And now if I say that um, this is my comments and save that. Once we save that, you can see the value got clear and then it is showing that this value is showing I mean, whatever value was showing it is uh, showing here. So in, in this way, the user can be put comments multiple times as many as they want. So let's say that they can put that, uh, you know, that this is my new, uh, this is another comment. Okay. All these comments will be show here one by one and I'll just save that. So you can see these fields or this value got saved and then each and everything is tracking one by one whatever value I am putting. So this is basically used mostly for the comments purpose. So let's say that for the story, incident, problem, change, you can see this type of field called uh, journal field. Now we'll talk about that what is journal entry. So if I go back here and then go back to the form layout and then here I'm going to create that customer comment. So I'm going to create one more field called customer comment. And this time I'll select that journal, um, not journal, I'll select the journal input and add that and save that. So what will be happen? The journal, uh, it will be react as per the journal field. So if you can see the previously it was journal and then this journal have a, this, um, this um, you know, all these value you can see. So this, whenever you're putting the value, it is showing the bottom and these all are you know, one single, um, you know, uh, single field. Now in this customer comments, if I say that I, and uh, my name is uh, Rohit. So this is a comments, definitely. If I save that, this comments will not be available in this bottom. So, so journal, um, journal field is the combination of the journal input and journal list. So you create a one field and that can take that input and then that can show the value as well as. But in the journal input, it only can take the input but it cannot be take the value. I go back to the u underscore test. Let's say I'm going to that u underscore test field. And in this test, I'm going to add those two field call that we have created called customer comments and user comments. So remember that user comments is a, a journal field. So in this case, you can see uh, user comments have it. So user comments is a journal fields and then these can show all this value that we have so far put that. Right. Similarly, if we go back to the calm, you know, journal input, you can see this value is showing here in the list. But whenever we are opening, it is not showing in the form. So if you want to make the different different field, you can go ahead and create the journal in journal input and journal list. If you want to use a single field, you can use simply journal field. Now in the form, we are not seeing this value that we are providing to see that value. What we have to do, we have to create one more field called journal list. So let's say that uh, customer comments list and this will be another field and here I'll select the journal and here I'll select the journal list and add that 
and save that. Once we save that, you can see um, these things, this uh, whatever value we have uh, provided or whatever comments I'm putting, all these comments are not showing till now because once you create these two are different different fields but once you create that it needs to be make the dependent on the previous fields then only it will be shown so that what i'll do i'll go to the configure dictionary and under this configure dictionary i have to go to the advanced under this uh, advanced view we have a dependent field so i have to click the dependent field and you have to select the use dependent and here you need to select that um, the customer comments that um, that one you want to make the dependent once you update that you can see all these comments are right now showing so basically two difference the journal field can be um, um, take input and can be show the output customer or the journal input can only take the input and the journal list can be show output so that's it for today. If you have any question, let me know in my comment section. Thank you very much. Have a great day.